Hello and welcome back to the channel. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone in advance who's going to be joining me on this live. Um, for me, this is a very, very important topic. And some of you already know uh, who this person is. This is Moses A. West, everybody. Who is Moses A. West? If you don't know, you are about to find out. You're about to find out. But again, like I said, many of you already know who this is and you are already familiar with our brother, okay? But um, his story is one that needs to be told. I've told it before, many years ago, but um, he's making waves yet again. And I thought that I would jump in. I would dive in as well on this story because folk need to know who Moses A. West is. They need to know, right? Especially since the world is uh, facing down some very, very challenging uh, moments. Facing down something very challenging. And I feel like uh, not enough people. Uh, moments. Hold on a second. Facing sorry, about, sorry about that. Sorry about it. Sorry about it. You get that volume off. Okay. The world is facing down some challenging moments and um, I feel like this brother and what he has done is the answer to a lot of problems in the world. But as we know, as we know, folk ain't fair in this world. And then there are some people who are just plain jealous is Moses A. West, y'all. This is the brother who invented something that creates water out of thin air. Y'all remember I covered this story years ago. I also did a follow-up when uh, one of his machines was destroyed by some, some wicked demons. They vandalized uh, some of his machines. He is an engineer who made this thing work and has proven that this thing could solve a lot of the problems in regions of the world where they don't have access to water. You see, yes, as Arlene Foster pointed out, they have been trying to sabotage his work. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, who thinks like that? Why on earth would you want to sabotage what this brother is doing? Uh, he has... His, his um, particular machine has been put in regions of the world. I believe he said there's one down in Peru and um, a few other areas as well. But think about Africa where things are just so uh, tripped out in certain regions where it's just dry, desert-like. This machine, it is amazing. Amazing. I rem uh, just like Teresa um, in the chat says, she says she remembers that she was worried about him. Um, a lot of people were worried about him, but I said, you know what, the Mosai can, can do whatever he wants and he can also protect, right? And if it's not for anyone to get their hands on our brother, it will not happen. If y'all before you, who can be against you? That's the way I look at it. Um, I know what you mean, but I try my best not to worry. When I say I try my best, sometimes things do creep through, you know, but I try to allow when thoughts come to me because i've had thoughts come i've told y'all about some of those thoughts where i was you know looking at the future and i was a little bit you know dismayed right but what we need to do what we need to do is let our faith kick in and let our prayer kick in and put on the whole arm of y'all say abba y'all look um, i'm having some difficulty right now with my thoughts and i need you to help me with these thoughts now greta lee she says who is Moses A. West. Never heard of him. Okay, so, hey, listen. Okay, Moses A. West. I want you to look him up, sister. You'll get more details on it. As a matter of fact, I have some other ideas, too, that I want to, you know, speak out there. But this brother, look at the machine right there. Um, his machine is able to create water out of thin air, literally. It turns air into drinkable water out of air now think about how much it costs i wish we can i wish this thing could come to market to where we could buy it because listen to this 
it costs so much money to get a, a well dug. It's ridiculous. That's right, um, uh, Mr. Brother, uh, Mr. Pirate Brain. Uh, yes, he did put some of these in Flint, Michigan. That's right. He sure did. But if we can buy this instead of a well, you don't need to dig a well if you have our brother's machine here. I sure do wish there was a way that this can come to market because there would be no need to buy a well. Because even with a well, if your power goes out, it don't work. And I believe he said that this unit can work by um, solar. Okay. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you all um, an interview uh, that he was doing, um, I believe, on Roland Martin's show. And um, he was actually explaining how you could use, let me pull that up for you. This interview right here, go check that out. Uh, you could actually use um, solar to run the machine. So I think that's an excellent idea. Solar, right? Of course, you can get solar connected to a well too, but with the cost of the well and the cost of the solar, there's going to be a lot more money. So I wish there was a way we could just simply um, pour into our brother, right? And get a machine that you will own, right? As <laughs> you see, that would be great. But that's what he does. Um, it's called Atmospheric Water Generation. How, um, how amazing is that? How amazing is that? So again, for those of you who don't know who Moses A. West is, this is a brother to, he's a brother to know about. He's definitely someone you should check into. So now I want to say something else, right? I want to say this family. Of course, I could do both stories, but y'all know what I get tired of sometimes. Sometimes I get tired of the same old, same old, same old, same old, same old, right? I get tired of the same old stuff over and over and over again. Let me show y'all something here. I'm going to show y'all this real quick. So, of course, you know, we've had quite a few things. Uh, that we've been doing today. Um, it was such a lovely day. We decided to spend some good time in in the garden, on the land, just doing a number of different things. We got a load of wood. We decided, hey, we got us a load of wood. We unloaded that. Of course, I didn't get the real, real big ones because I can't lift that heavy stuff, y'all. I got the ones that were manageable for me, right? <laughs> so um, the, a, a few stories came across my desk, right? And I'm going to show y'all one that I said, you know what, I, I, I'm tired of this stuff. And so when I saw the story with Brother Moses, I said, that's the direction I'm going today, right? Because look at this. Look at this one right here. Okay, look at this. Black truckers denied service at Denny's, kicked out for being black. Okay, folk called the police on them, right? This is on Dr. Richie's channel in Indisputable. And so here they recorded the conversation with this this waitress here where she was explaining that they just wanted them out of there. You know, there's there's these people around and I guess some people felt uncomfortable, blah, blah, blah. And I said, you know what? I'm tired of those kind of stories, y'all. I'm tired of these. If you want to go check it out, feel free to do so. But I said today, today, we're going to talk about uh, Brother Moses A. West today because as I listened to those brothers... Um, that were just going back and forth with the chick at the restaurant. Okay. Going back and forth with her trying to convince her that they are paying customers who deserve to stay. And I said, how many times are we going to keep on begging people who done told us time and time again that they can't stand us? It reminds me of something that, that I said many years ago. I said, look, y'all, why are we begging people to feed us and cook food for us and prepare it for us behind closed doors and they can't stand us? You hear what I'm saying? And so I know I'm talking about the story now, but I wanted to show you why I didn't speak on that earlier. And I passed it up because I wanted to talk about Brother Moses A. West and this machine right here that moving forward could save a lot of lives. Ain't nobody going to get saved by going to some restaurant, Denny's, who has a track record, just like Cracker Barrel, of not wanting to deal with us. Why do we keep going? 
why don't we put our brains to work instead of putting it to work to drive to these locations? Why don't we put it to work like our brother Moses here? Brother Moses said, you know what? There is a need for water. There is a need for water. And I know a little bit about how to make it happen. Tracy from Metropolitan Detroit. How you doing today, family? How you doing? I love this time of year in Metropolitan Detroit. <laughs> you know, uh, once it goes into September, it's absolutely beautiful up there in Michigan. Oh my goodness. That's one season I definitely miss living in Michigan was, was the fall season. I miss it so much. I miss it so much. Greta says it's 71 degrees right now where she is up in Michigan. It wasn't too bad here today. It was 79. So it was pretty good. We've been having some decent weather, but that 71 sounds real good, <laughs> sister. It sounds real good. But again, my brother Moses, um, him and his innovations, this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about, y'all. Listen, one thing I wanted to say about brother Moses, okay, is what if when we are having our children study all this stuff about American history and American, what's going on with the American society and all of this kind of stuff, you see, what and if, what and if, we had our children do research papers on Brother Moses A. West, something that they can be proud of. I know for me, we are going to prepare an assignment on this brother for our children. It doesn't matter if you homeschool your children or if, if they are in regular school. I think this is something very much worthwhile to prepare lessons so we can introduce brothers like this to our children in the form of education. That's what I would like to do. Because what this brother is doing, it is mind blowing to me. It is mind blowing and I don't feel like enough is being said about him. Uh, Greta says she hope and pray that no one steals his idea agreed I agree with that I pray that the Most High will protect this brother and protect his invention and protect all that he is doing that is what I hope and I pray for because what he is doing is magnificent magnificent and so I definitely think that homeschool parents should you know prepare lessons of course whatever we prepare ultimately we will share but if you don't want to wait for us and what we have to do, I say, prepare lessons for your children with Brother Moses. This is what we need to do. Because our young people need to know that there are great people within our community as well. Someone says he has a contract with the military I really wish that um, average folk like us could get our hands on it. That's what I wish. I wish we can get our hands on this machine as well. Instead, instead of having wells dug. Now, if you already have a well, that's fine, but it would be awesome to be able to get something like this. Someone says they have smaller versions of this already on the market. I can certainly see where someone could have possibly swiped up his idea. He actually said in the video that I showed you all on Roland Martin's show, he, uh, he actually said that people can, can actually do this. Already you're doing it. But uh, you know, a lot of people just don't want to take the time to go the extra mile. They want to see what they can do with um, something else, right? I would like to understand this better what this brother is doing because this is amazing and water is something that moving forward we're all going to need that's right uh, uh shamaya he definitely needs to be protected i agree with that 100 percent 
Now, another thing that I wanted to talk talk about in regards to Brother Moses A. West, this is what I, want, what I wanted to talk about. I think about how this system has been designed a certain way concerning our people, right? Y'all gonna y'all gonna understand what I'm saying when I what, once I get into this. But many of you already know that we have been studied. We have been studied. They study our habits. They study our music, our likes, our dislikes, right? They study what we like to eat. And they conjure up things around the things that we like or don't like. They know our trigger points. They know what grabs us. They know what keeps us. They know how to get our attention because they have studied. There's a massive sorcery going on, right? And so what is happening is because they are tailor making stumbling blocks and ditches to fall in, right? Because they're tailor making all of this. Okay, hold on one second. Someone says, Aunt Jemima, um, hey girl, you want some pancakes? I ain't got time for you, okay? Okay, somebody can just go ahead and bounce Aunt Jemima out of there because they're they're talking crazy right now. Yes, I like to wear my hair covered if that's what you're talking about. But you're not going to derail this, this, um chat you are not going to derail this you are out of here but what what I want to talk about is the sorcery you see that kind of stuff right there they want to keep your mind bogged down with racial things and wickedness okay that's what they want to keep you bogged down with right so that you cannot focus on this type of innovation this type of ingenuity you see that's right, uh, John Doe, the scoffers will scoff. That's right. And, and when they get started, if we catch it, we can bounce them out, can't we? That's right. So back to our story. Because this brother's ingenuity is so magnificent, you definitely have people who want to stop this stuff. They want to stop the next generation from being able to come up with these type of innovations. If they can keep our young people focused on foolishness, then you can't come up with what Moses A. West came up with. Brother Isaac asked, uh, what did he make? Again, for those of you who are not familiar with Moses A. West, Brother Isaac, he created a machine that turns air into water. He makes water out of thin air. His machine has been used in Flint, Michigan. Y'all remember what happened in Flint? Um, it's been used down in Peru and other regions of the world as well. It is so amazing. Okay, time to get Malcolm X out of there too. These are just uh, folk talking all this stuff. You can say whatever you want. You can say white women are hot or whatever if you want to. If that's what you believe, um, Mr. Malcolm X, you could take it somewhere else. You see what I mean about people who want to troll the channel? Instead of them, th this shows you that the enemy is definitely at work. He doesn't want you to focus on Moses A. West. He wants to keep putting his mess in the chat. And so thank you for getting him out of there. That's right. The devil is very busy, but guess what? The most high is too. The problem is we have so much coming at us as a people. Fiery darts coming from every angle. This is why our young people, because they have, they our young people can't focus because they have so many of these fiery darts that they can't quench. If they had more of this kind of stuff in front of them, instead of all this other garbage, uh, Terry, I sure do wish I knew how much the brother's machine cost. I really do wish we knew how much it cost because it would be awesome to get something like this in place of a well. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. 
someone said he should convert this machine to generate electricity. Well, this one right here is for generating water. Um, it would be a whole other um, thing for generating electricity, but I, I get your point and what you're trying to say. That would be awesome for something that could generate electricity, but um, his, his thing is water. His thing is making water in which the world would literally be destroyed without water. Now, of course, you know that some years ago, for those of you who are joining late, uh, some years ago, uh, these people um, took one of his machines and vandalized it. And I said to myself, that, that you, you, you can just about imagine who did that now. And being realistic, it could have been a jealous black person or a hateful white person. The reason why I say that because uh, the young man, um, King Randall, who at the school uh, for young black boys, it was a black, two black men and their um, racially ambiguous girlfriend who went in and vandalized and destroyed his school, right? So you either have a jealous black person or people or some hateful white folk who vandalized this man's machine years ago. Either way it goes, enemies come in black and white. I keep on telling y'all that. Enemies come in black and white. All I know is that I wanted to share this story instead of the Denny story because um, this is something that's going to help in the future. Knowing that uh, they don't want us to come to Denny's to eat because they, they we make some of the white people uncomfortable. That ain't going to help us. We keep hearing about that stuff over and 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 over again. We keep hearing about those things. I'm not saying that we should ignore those things. I'm not saying that we shouldn't pay attention to those things, but sometimes you get tired of talking about it because you get a flood of those stories, but you don't get enough of this. Now, I'm not saying that I won't talk about those stories again because they need, to, they need some of it too so that the sleepers can be awakened. You see what I'm saying? The sleepers need to be awakened because you still we still got some of our people on 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 the news crying saying that I can't believe this stuff is still happening in 2023. I hear what you're saying, Teresa. You know, that all of that's definitely a possibility. Definitely. Ain't no telling who destroyed this brother's machine. No telling who. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers of darkness of this world, against principalities and powers, and spiritual wickedness in high places. Anyway, family, um, I just wanted to talk about our brother here, Moses, um, and share with you all this great innovation that he has. And encourage you all to study up on um, the technology that he has. And put this before your children. Share it with them because it's something worth sharing. Definitely. Something worth sharing. And I want you all to also understand that we got to pray for our young people. Because they are, but not just our young people. Our people, period. Uh, men, women, young and old. Are being bombarded with foolishness. So bombarded by it to where we can't even focus on this kind of stuff. There are some trying times ahead. Some dark days ahead for the whole world. And so we need to be putting our thinking caps on, if you know what I mean. Putting our thinking caps on. And trying to figure out how to navigate through what is to come. That's what we need to be doing. We need to be plugging our children into ingenuity, what they can create, what they can make, what they can do, what they can build. Let that ingenuity kick in. Too many parents just don't care what their kids do one way or another. Education covers so many different, so many different things. That's right, Shannon in the chat says, these young people are blinded by this new age rap music. Exactly. Our young people need to be getting plugged into something very real and let go of this other mess that's just, just tearing their minds up. 
I'm so very, very proud of this brother. And like I said, like I said, we need to understand the time that we are living in and we all need to put our thinking caps on and figure out what we can do as well. I thank um, all of my moderators for their service. Um, Brother Devon, Yahweh's treasure, and um, some that are not in the chat right now, those who may see this on the replay, I appreciate your service. Um, Patty Brown, um, those of you who are moderators on our other ministry channel as well, we appreciate all that you do. Um, this is definitely definitely a big help especially uh, when trying to put a uh, sometimes it does get distracting you're trying to put out something and then you have a troll coming in here with foolishness so we definitely appreciate all of your help in that regard so anyway I am done with this story I just wanted to um, chime in on this again because uh, this is something that is definitely noteworthy something definitely worth getting into our young people they need something positive to look at right something else to aspire to other than just trying to be the next athlete or trying to cut their next rap album it seemed like everyone's trying to get in the rap game right but what if our young people were trying to figure out things what if they were trying to build things make things that would be awesome Let's encourage that in our young people, okay? Because we're going to need it moving forward. We're going to need to understand some stuff. So, I'm done, family. I thank you all for joining me. Uh, those of you who are going to watch this on a replay, I want everyone to feel free to leave your comments about Brother Moses A. West. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time, I'll see you on the next video. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.